Effectively monitoring your energy use can help you identify and quickly act on any irregularities, set a baseline to compare against other similar organisations, set yourself realistic targets for improvement and help track your progress against those targets. To help you begin to do this, Resource Efficient Scotland has a free online spreadsheet tool which you can download and tailor however you might like to make it most suitable for your organisation. The spreadsheet offers a simple way to collate your energy usage data and purchase costs and to begin to analyse that consumption. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet. Our first page is an introduction to the five main worksheets in the tool and what they're for. You'll also see our contact details if you'd like to chat over how to use the tool or indeed if you want to talk about any other areas of resource efficiency. The next three sheets are where we enter our data. We have one for electricity usage, one for gas usage, and this one here which we've called oil purchase data, but which can easily be changed to record litres delivered of LPG or tonnes of solid fuel, whatever is most relevant for your business. So looking at the electricity sheet, in the first two steps we enter the date of our reading and what the reading is. That reading is automatically copied down to the previous reading column in the next line where we can then enter our next reading and the date we took it. And so on down the sheet for as long and as regularly as we like. Now, you might just take these figures from your electricity bills, quarterly or monthly, or you might take your own readings much more regularly. Generally, the more often you take and record readings, the more detailed analysis you'll be able to carry out. Then, in step three, we have the option of entering a key performance indicator, or KPI for short, which we recommend you assess your energy performance against. In this example, taken from a restaurant, the KPI is the average number of covers per day in the week between these two dates. Other KPIs you might choose to use instead could be staff numbers, sales turnover, or production output, whatever is a relevant measure of performance for your organisation. So when we now look at the first of the analysis tabs on the spreadsheet, the tool automatically takes the data you have entered and plots it into graphs for you to analyse. We see here quite a large fluctuation in the actual daily electricity use, so it looks like performance has been particularly good at this point here. But when we look at the graph on the final tab, which factors in the KPI information we entered, we see much less of a fluctuation. Now there's still some fluctuation around here, which might warrant some further investigation as to why performance has varied. But in general, we have a much more even line with a downward trend in electricity use per cover served, which is the kind of trend we'd like to see. The gas and oil usage sheets work in much the same way, except that for gas, we're recording meters cubed off our meter, and for oil, we're recording liters delivered or that could be tons delivered of solid fuel, as I mentioned earlier. If you want to, these units can be relatively easily converted into kilowatt hours of energy by looking up the relevant calorific value, which is a set figure for the amount of energy stored in one litre of oil, for example. And as with the electricity usage, the analysis tabs automatically produce graphs based on the data you've entered. All of these graphs, as well as being used for analysis of your performance, can be printed off and posted on notice boards for communication to staff, or used to present to management when discussing energy use and potential improvements. So there we have it, a quick run through of our easy to use tool to help begin to monitor and understand your energy use and take the first steps towards becoming more resource efficient. Thanks for watching.